I asked you, what do plants need to grow? I imagine you might say sun, water, maybe soil, but what you probably wouldn't say is fish waste. I'm talking fish poo and fish pee, but that is exactly what some farmers here in Somerset are using. This is bioaqua in Somerset, and it's a special kind of aquaponics farm. But what does that word mean? Aquaculture is the farming of fish. Hydroponics is growing plants with nutrient-rich water without soil. When you combine aquaculture and hydroponics, you get aquaponics. Aquaponics is a type of ecosystem made by humans, where fish, plants and bacteria all live and work together. They help each other to stay clean, healthy and grow big and strong. So at its simplest, thanks to the amazing work done by bacteria, the fish waste is able to feed the plants and the plants are able to help keep water clean for the fish. Antonio started BioAqua Farm over 10 years ago, and he's here to introduce us to the fish. In these pools, fish are being farmed for food, and then other fish, such as koi, they're being farmed to go inside people's garden ponds. Believe it or not, in this pool behind me, there are 400 fish, trout, that are being farmed for food. And the good news is it's feeding time, and Antonio's going to let me film it. All right, I'm going in. Fish food is one of the only things that Antonio needs to put into the aquaponic system. But after the fish have eaten, what are they going to do? That's right, they are going to who and we. But what happens to that? More than half of the waste produced by the fish contains a chemical called ammonia. And that's coming out in their poo, their wee, but also through their gills. Now, the fish do their business straight into the water, but too much ammonia in the water is bad for the fish, so the water has to regularly be filtered and cleaned. The water from the fish tank that needs to get cleaned because it's full of ammonia gets pumped from here all the way through into this tank, and this is where it starts to get cleaned. All of the solid stuff, so that's the poo and some of the leftover food, it gets sieved out and separated. But then the rest of the water goes through to a special kind of filter called a biofilter. Now, in biology, the word bio means life. So that means this filter uses life in the form of bacteria to help clean the water. Let's take a look inside. Inside the biofilter, thousands of these plastic beads called bio beads and all they do is increase the surface area of the filter all that means is they make lots of little nooks and crannies and surfaces for bacteria to live and thrive on now it might seem a little bit strange to clean water with bacteria but not all bacteria are bad Bacteria are everywhere and they have been on this planet a lot longer than us, than fish or plants. They are so important, we actually couldn't survive without them. Now, some of the bacteria inside the biofilter that are covering these bio beads are doing an important job called nitrification. One type of bacteria takes the ammonia from the water and it uses it for energy, but in doing so, it turns it into something called nitrites. But then another type of bacteria uses the nitrites and turns it into something called nitrates. Lucky for us, plants love nitrates. So the water comes into the biofilter packed with ammonia from all of the fish we but it leaves rich in nitrates ready to pump to the grow beds, which are just over there. The nitrate rich water gets pumped from the tanks and that biofilter through pipes to these. Now these are called grow beds, which don't contain soil, but instead these small clay pebbles called media. 
The water is flowing through these grow beds beneath a lot of these pebbles. Now this means that the plants, which start out as seeds and are grown in a greenhouse elsewhere on the farm, when they're moved to the grow beds, their roots can grow down through all of these pebbles and they can suck up that lovely nitrate rich water. And when they're done with it, the leftover water is able to go back to the fish tanks where the whole cycle starts again. And using this method, they can grow so many different types of plants here. These are peppers, rainbow chard, lettuce, green beans, and even purple beans. An aquaponic system is all about balance. So behind me, we have some celery plants. Now these have bolted, which means they're making seeds, but they won't taste very nice anymore. But instead of taking them out, Antonio has left them to grow so they can help to suck up the water from the grow beds and use the nitrates in the water. Because if there's too much nitrate in the water, that won't be good for when it goes back to the fish. So the filtered water goes to feed the plants and then back to the fish. But what about all of the other stuff? What about the waste from the tanks, the fish poo and the leftover food? Well, that ends up here in a type of filter called a biodigester. I'm going to scoop you out some of that gunky fish waste. Here it is. There. And it smells absolutely disgusting. But what's going on inside here is pretty cool. So all of this waste is being moved around by oxygen. It's practically bubbling. But what that's doing is separating the solids from the liquids. After some time in the biodigester, all of the solids will sink to the bottom of that tank and then all of the liquids will rise. And this clear liquid is packed with nutrients and all of the good stuff that plants love. Not all plants like to grow without soil. Strawberries are one of them. So at BioAqua, they make sure some of the plants are grown in soil. However, this doesn't go to waste. The amazing fish poo tea that comes from the biodigester gets pumped to the soil through these tiny little tubes and pipes. And I tell you what, this helps to grow some of the most amazing strawberries I have ever tasted. It's just delicious. You would never know that these have been grown with fish poo and wee. It's just amazing. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Aquaponics is an incredible technology because it allows us to grow both plants and fish in a closed, sustainable loop. Other than feeding the fish, everything kind of looks after itself. We don't need to give the plants fertilizer because the fish waste feeds the plants and the plants and the bacteria help to clean the water so it can be reused again and again. Now I've loved aquaponics for such a long time. I wrote about it in my book, Stuff. So I've left some links down below if you want to find out more. Now I really hope you enjoyed this video. You love aquaponics as much as I do. Stay curious and I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Cool leaves again. The water from the fish tank, but. <laughs> when you combine. Hydro. Hydroponics, yeah. <laughs> so, what happened to all of the fish poo and the. <laughs> so, we come down, popped in, done this, and now I'm just here. When you combine agriculture and. One. When you combine aquaculture and hydroponics, you get aquaponics. And Antonio's legs. Clean <laughs> to grow brigands. Brigands strong. They're just fish. Yeah, yeah, nothing to be, but I can't see them. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> fish food is one of the only things that Antonio. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Ooh. Hello! Hello! Keep it simple, Moat!